Hi, Andrew and Elena. Welcome to your virtual wedding shower, sponsored by your mom's nursing friends, aka the nurses. My name is Liz. I live in Port Washington, Wisconsin. Andrew, you may have recalled coming to visit us when you were um, here in Cedarburg performing um, a few summers ago. I'm so happy to introduce you to some of our other nursing friends, and I just wanted to share with you um, how much your mom means to me and your dad means to us. Your mom and I met, Andrew, your mom and I met, she was my very first friend at Creighton, and um, it's hard to believe that that um, beautiful fall day in 1986 um, would have been the start of just a wonderful friendship. And, um, and I love her so much. So we're, I'm thrilled today to introduce you to some of the other nurses in our group. You'll get to hear more from them here in just a minute. And I just wanted to share with both of you how thrilled we are for you and wish you all the best, all the joy. Um, marriage and love and family are so important and I'm so glad that you have found each other. Make sure to have time with each other, find fun things to do together, and um, always remember to keep a sense of humor. I can't wait to meet you, Elena, and Andrew, I can't wait to see you again. And I hope you have a wonderful wedding. So here's the rest of the nurses, and enjoy your special day. Congratulations. Love you all. Mwah. Hi, Andrew and Eliana. Congratulations on your upcoming wedding. We're so excited for you. Um, best of luck to both of you guys, and enjoy every minute. Andrew and Alina, this is Jody, one of the nurses, and uh, first of all, congratulations. Uh, words of advice after 18 years of marriage, communicate, communicate, communicate. Uh, second of all, even when your person is not your favorite person and you don't really like them, always say I love you every day. Make the most of the little things and uh, just live each day to the fullest. It goes by so fast. Again, congratulations. We would wish you the very, very best. Love you. Hey, Andrew and Alina. I know you guys don't know me. <laughs> uh, this is Kelly. I'm the one who lives in Wisconsin, um, besides Liz. But uh, I just want to say congratulations to you guys. Um, so, so, so happy for you. I know... Um, your parents are thrilled for you, and I just wish that we could all be there um, to celebrate with you because, you know, us nurses love to have a good time, and we make the party happen. So um, anyway, we just wanted to say congratulations and send you guys a little something and wish you the best of luck and just know that um, even though you guys may not know us personally, um, we love you and we love your family, and um, we just hope you have a great day. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Hi, Elena. Hi, Andrew. Happy Wedding shower, happy wedding day. I'm Cindy, went to school with Tracy, uh, School of Nursing, so we are fellow nurses. Um, I'm here in McLeod, just on vacation. Uh, we live near St. Louis, but we're here in McLeod, California. Wanted to wish you some great happy wishes for your wedding and your wedding shower. Um, I wrote down a couple things for advice. Um, Jeff and I have been married, and he went to Creighton too. We've been, we've been married um, 28 years, and I believe you're getting married the same weekend we did in 93. We got married on August 13th, so that's a great weekend to get married. We actually got married on Friday the 13th, so it's not unlucky. Um, as far as advice and what works, communication is huge. Um, you never want to assume. Always let them know or ask what you need. And also, um, don't expect them to read your mind. It's better to say what's bothering you, like picking up wet towels or whatever it is, rather than letting it build up. So communication is huge. Um, it's better to give 100% instead of 50%, so 100% to each other, because um, you're both committed to each other and be best friends to each other. Um, and I think what's really great is to always remember to say please and thank you and I love you especially at night before you go to bed. Just total respect for the other person from day one until death do us part. So, all right. Wish you guys well and um, have a great wedding shower and wedding, and we will see you at your reception. Bye. 
Hi Andrew, hi Elena, I'm Dana. I'm one of the nurses from Creighton, one of Tracy's group. And I just wanted to give you both uh, the biggest best wishes and sending you big hugs and lots of love on your wedding day and for your shower. So first off, I wanna tell you a couple stories about Tracy. Um, I came a year later than everybody else to Creighton and Tracy was the very first nurse that I met. She was my very first friend at Creighton and she came with a whole group of uh, nurses with her which was just totally awesome and it's so cool to still be in touch with everybody and to be so close after so many years. I hope you uh, have friends in your life that are with you as long as we've been together. Uh, let's see my first Tracy story. So. Tracy and Carrie and Jana and I all lived in the big blue house for at least a year. And there are lots of stories that go with that. But your mom was great at planning parties. She can do an amazing thing with a watermelon and a syringe. And um, she's helped plan. We worked on um, nursing formals together and went to uh, Sigma Nu parties together so I know she's probably looking forward to planning a reception and a party for the two of you too and we can't wait to meet you all when she does. So once upon a time your mom went to Chicago I know you've heard that story a bunch of the nurses did and she met your dad and I didn't get to go on that trip but when she came home she said I met the man I'm gonna marry and about six weeks ago we got to share that story with each other and hear your dad's side of the story which is also really cool and there is love at first sight they're probably that that couple that can prove that story so if you haven't heard it it's worth listening to very good let's see so my advice to you i have three things because i do things in threes and it's easier to remember that way so first of all always date each other when you're dating you communicate with each other, you are holding hands and you're playful and you're always respectful of each other. You're more forgiving and um, it's always a lot of fun, right? So bring that to your marriage and a date doesn't have to be, you know, an extravagant concert or something. It can be an afternoon of roller skating or walking in the park and sharing an ice cream cone on the bench. Not a big deal. So first date each other and if you can't date each other and things are getting a little rough always forgive each other. Um, they'll forgive the little things and forgive the big things and if you're listening to all the advice and you're communicating with each other and you're not assuming the other person knows what's in your head or in your heart, then it, it's, there's, it's easier to do all the forgiveness. And Elena, my piece of advice for you, number three, is that the way to a man's heart is always through his stomach. I think you've probably heard that old saying. It doesn't mean you have to cook him a hundred different things. Just know what his favorites are and do them very, very well. Think of it as your suck up bouquet. And Andrew, let's talk about suck up bouquets. You know, the most expensive one isn't necessarily the best one. Maybe she just wants a bouquet of wildflowers. So my advice to you is to know what her favorite flowers are <clears throat> and maybe they're cookies, maybe they're not even flowers and know her favorite color. Never underestimate the power of a good suck up bouquet because if you get it right, you might get the date. Have a wonderful, wonderful day today. Love you both. Look forward to meeting you and have a great marriage. Love you, bye-bye. Good morning, this is Carrie from Omaha, Nebraska, home of the College World Series, a very timely topic right now. Um, Vanderbilt, that's fine if they win, but I, who I really, really, really wanna win is the uh, Mississippi Bulldogs. Go Bulldogs! So for this makeup tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to put on some eyeshadow. So first, after washing your face, putting on a little foundation, you're gonna grab some eyeshadow, either uh, on the green palette or the blue palette. Oh, this isn't a makeup tutorial. Okay, well then what I'm gonna show you is how to make my famous guacamole. You're gonna grab two avocado, this isn't a make uh, recipe show either. 
Okay, well, then I'm going to tell you a little story. Andrew and Elena, happy engagement. So my little story starts a long, long, long time ago when the senior in high school decided that she wanted to go to college in Omaha, Nebraska. Now she grew up in a very small town, so she had to travel three hours away to get to this high, to this college. So there she is as a senior. And obviously she didn't have really good fashion sense, but that is what it is. So in college, she met a wonderful, amazing, amazing group of nursing friends who she's had uh, 31 years later. And when this gal went to uh, Creighton, she met a girl named Tracy, your future mother-in-law. And I think what Tracy liked about me is that my bangs were higher than hers. So there's a picture of us and our bangs. And it was like, it was my bangs were almost eating her. Nom, 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 nom. Anyway, we decided, a few of us, that we were going to go to Chicago to see Kelly's folks. So we packed up and we drove out to Chicago. And then we took a picture, whoops, us March birthdays. Wasn't that kind of cool? Um, we, did, we, as a group, met some guys. And after we, of course, went to the library and did our studies and homework and stuff like that, um, we met some guys in the Navy. Enter your future father-in-law, Scott. And Tracy and Scott hit it off so well. Notice Tracy's bangs also. And they decided, they dated, and they got engaged. Oh, look at them. Cute little beverages right there. And they decided to bum, 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 bum. They decided to get married. And I could not have chosen a better spouse for Tracy or Scott. And just to know that they have been one of my dearest, dearest friends. So after they got married, fast forward a few years, we decided bunch of us decided, well, I guess all of us decided that we we're going to have some kids, but I decided that I wanted to go visit my friends out in California. However, I wanted to go before I had to pay for Sydney's ticket, which was the age of two. So packed her up and then we went out to California. And there we are holding our babies. And there they are sitting there so nicely. Look at that. And we absolutely, positively fell in love with this little guy named Andrew. Cute he is. His little blonde hair, and look at his cute little toes there. Look at how sweet he is. And his mama snuggling him like that. So Elena and, and Andrew, I wish you the most wonderful engagement the most blessed wedding, the most happy day. Um, you're going to get a lot of advice. Take what you what works for you. Um, obviously, you've chosen wisely. My advice for you is just to treat nicely. Um, don't take yourself too seriously, but take your marriage very seriously, which is hard sometimes when your husband's a little type A, but it's the most wonderful thing. Work on it every day. So from my heart to your heart, wherever you're at, wherever you live, wherever you land, I wish you nothing but happiness and health and a lifetime of the most blessed, wonderful marriage ever. Love both of you and welcome to the nursing family.